Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, August 8th. A Lyft driver is lucky to be alive today after a passenger pulled a gun, pointed it at his head, and pulled the trigger. Fortunately, Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says the gun did not fire. Staley says the gunman, 24-year-old Isaiah Glenn, fled the scene and a manhunt ensued Sunday. Using investigative means and information from the community, deputies were able to identify and track the individual as he was attempting to rent a hotel on Kingswood Drive. He's now in the Sheriff Barry Hall inmate detention facility. He told deputies that he wished the Lyft driver had pulled his own gun and shot him. If you know someone that is having a mental health episode, call the sheriff's office and let us intervene. As there was a witness that could have prevented this entire incident, but never called us. Fortunately, it all turned out well, and the individual was arrested. A great job by our team using every investigative means possible to apprehend this person before he could injure someone. Glenn faces charges of aggravated assault with a firearm and is being held on no bond. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Palm Coast City Council is holding a workshop this morning. Palm Coast City Council will be meeting for a workshop this morning at 9 a.m. with a variety of topics to discuss. Brittany Kershaw, Communications and Marketing for the City of Palm Coast, has details. This week's meeting has a full agenda with several topics, including a look at the fiscal year 2024 general fund budget, which has been modified to reduce the fund in order to accomplish City Council's direction of reaching the rollback millage rate. Additionally, the stormwater department will present phase one of the maintenance plan for saltwater canals. Parks and Recreation will present the Parks and Rec master plan. The enhanced services contract with the Flower County Sheriff's Office will be introduced. There will be a discussion on the proposed pilot program for backyard chickens in residential neighborhoods. And the City of Palm Coast summer interns will also present their summer projects, which focus on emphasizing employee satisfaction, recruitment strategies for younger generations, job outreach improvement, job retention enhancement, and the potential for a mentorship program. Business meetings and workshops are open to the public and both are live streamed on the city's YouTube channel. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Flagler County Judge Melissa Distler has received the Amy Karen Award, recognizing her as a visionary trailblazer and innovator on the bench. Distler was nominated for the award by Palm Beach County Judge Sherry Collins for her role in developing and implementing the pre-trial release program a decade ago. She was also selected for being a staunch supporter of judicial education. Distler received the award during the annual meeting of the Conference of Court Judges of Florida earlier this summer. It's unbelievably special. I mean, it's such an honor, and I've had people from all over the state reach out to me and say I've lived up to her standards, and even one of our local judges emailed me privately and was congratulating me on getting the award and said, I knew Amy, and you remind me a lot of her, and so it was just very heartwarming, and I just am honored that the conference would recognize my service in such a meaningful fashion. The Amy Karen Award was named for Miami-Dade Circuit Judge Amy Karen, a pioneer who addressed domestic abuse and pushed for social justice in the court system. Karen died of Parkinson's in 2013. She was 54. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. How does one become a leader? Howard Holly, who's been in positions of leadership with Xerox around the world and is the CEO of Touchpoint, which is a communications marketing and media firm that optimizes communication touchpoints and customer community intimacy, says that bettering yourself is a key. It's really about how do you not just adapt to change, but foster change. How do you create in yourself the desire to be a different person tomorrow than I was today. Holly said that a true leader improves himself or herself, and as others see that improvement, they choose to follow it. Listen to Business Minds Coffee Chat with host Jay Shearer on WNZF, Saturday mornings at 830, or on the Flagler Radio app. Tomorrow, Howard Holly talks about his values. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.